If you are reading this, it can only mean we are dead. I'm writing our story within the pages of this diary so that one day the truth will be known. My wife and I came to this cabin looking for a much needed holiday. Instead, we found death. Take the next right. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Oh, come on, sweetie. You're gonna love it. Trust me. They're here. I gotta go. So nice to finally meet both of you. <laughs> sure weren't kidding when you said it was secluded. Oh, I know. Isn't it great? You're going to love it here. You two are the first to rent this place since the owner moved out of Devil's Creek last year. Why would anyone move away from such a cozy place? I don't know, but we're all glad he did. Well, I better get going. Enjoy the cabin. Call me if you need anything. Come on, Romeo, let's go inside. And so the nightmare began. A walk through the woods. A picnic by the lake. But as we followed the winding road from the cabin, we could both feel something was wrong. I now know that we should have turned back while we had the chance. But we continued on, deeper into the woods. Until it was too late. God damn it, Billy! Christ. I thought I told you not to mess with any of this stuff. Oh, come on, man. I'm not doing any harm. You got that right. You won't be doing any harm when I fire you, lazy ass, either. Come on, we got a job to do. Fine. Billy, I'm not trying to be an asshole. We got three days to reshingle the roof and paint this godforsaken place. We may be fortunate to have full use of the cabin for the weekend, but I want to get out of here just as soon as possible. Have you ever noticed how quiet the forest is around here? I haven't heard a single bird chirp or seen as much as a goddamn squirrel. I don't know about you, this place sure gives me the creeps. Oh, you think that's funny, tough guy? <laughs> Come on, let's get to work. It'll be dark soon. <laughs> well, it isn't quite what I expected. At least the view is nice. Yeah. I noticed how fascinated you were with the view when that Rosemary was walking out to her car. What? What do you mean? <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. This is most definitely the last time I let you plan our vacation. Honey, I already told you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. I 
but I take you up on that offer. Right now. Is he dead? Yeah. You need to call the police. For the love of God, Billy, how many times have I told you not to touch any of this stuff? You know, if you break anything, it's coming out of your wages. You gonna finish eating? You know, we're heading back outside after I finish this beer. So what's in that thing anyway? Huh? That book you keep looking at. Oh, I don't know. It's like a diary or something. I don't like this place either. cards in the truck, up for a little Jim Rummy? Yeah, sure, just give me a couple of minutes though. I just want to read a few more pages. Jeez, kid, that must be one hell of a story you got there. You got that right. June 27th, 1997. Heather and I have been held up in this cabin for the past 20 hours. Either those foul creatures of death have not yet found us, or they haven't decided to attack. Heather's condition has deteriorated rapidly. She's been drifting in and out of consciousness, and when awake, been delirious. Her words have turned to moans, and her flesh has started changing into a sickly green color. I fear that if I don't get her to a hospital soon, she might lose her leg. I must try, no matter what the consequences may be.
What the hell was that? I don't know. Sounds like it's coming from beneath us. That's impossible. There's no basement door in this cabin. Are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure. Hell, if you don't believe me, go take a look for yourself. I think I will. I found Heather in the bathroom. She just stood there looking at herself in the mirror. Heather was becoming one of them. A creature of the dead. A zombie. Moving quickly, I put my arms around Heather. Her flesh was cold and had a putrefying stench. I had to save her. Holy shit! You scared the hell out of me. Again. Calm down. I just came over to see what you're up to. Billy, what's wrong? I mean, you haven't been yourself lately. I'm okay. Just don't worry about it. Wake up, kid. You looked exhausted, so I let you sleep. I made some breakfast that's on the stove. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving some of this shit out of here. We'll do one coat, head back outside and finish up, then do a second coat in here at the end of the day. Gathering every ounce of courage I had within me, I walked out into the darkness. The gun we kept in the car was our only hope. God, Billy, I'm not paying you to read. Now get your ass outside and stir that paint. I put both cans beside the truck. Why don't we 
always have to do this crap is beyond me. Oh, shit. What kind of people used to live here? The hell is this? I sit here knowing that my time is limited. They got me. I just pray that they never get out. It's a miracle I even got down there. They'd almost completely surrounded me when I noticed the cellar door. As I go for it, I felt them close in. Nails and teeth bit into my flesh, piercing my body with pain. Flipping the latch, I wrenched the door open and tumbled down the cellar steps. Paint's almost ready. What you looking for? Aha! Uh -huh. What the hell are you gonna do with those? Red? after me. Leaving me no other choice, I continued further into the darkness. Down another staircase led me deeper into their lair.
Hearing her voice, I realized I had lost. They had taken away the only thing that was dear to me. Heather, my beautiful wife, was now one of them. Goodbye, Heather. As much as I didn't want to believe it, my life was over. The only question left was how long it would take before I too became a walking corpse. I was not about to find out. I urge whoever reads this diary to never open the cellar door. If you do, it had better be to destroy the foul creatures that had taken both my life and that of my beautiful wife. As for me, I'm about to go for a walk into the woods and attempt to get as far away from here as possible. When the pain becomes too unbearable, I feel my last shred of humanity slipping away. I will pull the trigger. Wow. Billy! Hello? I'm here now. I've got it right here. Mm. They're hungry again. But not for long. They're here. I've got to go. So nice to finally meet both of you.